Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Russell Up with the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. Um, sorry for the late minute uh, ad here. This was actually not planned, but um, I thought it would be actually a good time to do a little bit of live streaming. Uh, we did not live stream last week, so um, I figured why not live stream today uh, to make up for it. So. Um, again, I don't think anyone's watching right now at this point, but um, this is just a more of a test live stream uh, before our regular live stream, which is going to be this Thursday, um, as well as a couple of announcements. So um, to do that, we're playing uh, one of my backlog games, uh, which is Ori and the Blind Forest, which I have unfortunately not played as of yet. Hey, Heaven Smile. How's it going? Good to see you on. Can you hear me all right? All right, and while I'm checking that, I am going to put on the game. I am unfortunately not playing uh, Rainbow Six, as I'm sure most of Twitch is right now, which is unfortunate. Hopefully I'll be able to do that later on uh, in a bit. Awesome. Thanks as always, Heaven. Always appreciate it. Um, so last week I was not on because I, well, both the holidays and I was sick, so um, I'm still a little bit sick right now, but... Uh, we're going to play a little bit of a game called Ori, uh, a game I've been meaning to get to that all of my friends have told me is a wonderful game. How are you doing, Heaven? And how is everyone doing today? Anyone watching at the moment? And so I've played about five minutes of this game, and so I have very little... Um, knowledge other than the reviews and other than the trailer that I've seen. I know it's super beautiful. I know it's like a Metrovania, uh, a bit of a speed run, a speed running game, if I've heard correctly as well. Um, and I'm very excited to finally play a little bit of it here on the live stream. I'm not going to be on too long. I know it's late in other places and it's um, it's been crazy on our side as well. Uh, this will actually be the last time you'll see this room uh, on the live stream. We're actually moving into our new offices starting next week, so you'll see our new media room. It'll be much more fancier. We'll hopefully have some in-guest interviews like we did uh, at the very beginning of the year. Um, so hopefully you'll see that all very, very soon. But uh, thanks, Heaven. I, I do appreciate it. Very cool. Um, and so why am I playing Ori? I'm playing Ori for a couple of reasons. One, a lot of my friends recommended it. Um, two, uh, it was part of our um, Into the Pixel uh, gallery, which is uh, basically a collection of gaming art. Uh, and it was one of our winners from this past year. We have an interview with uh, the developers or the artists on our YouTube page if you look for Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. And I do look, uh, my favorite color is blue. Learn something new. Um, so I do love blue. I love beautiful games. Um, like this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. And um, another reason is um, much faster. What else is going on? Ah, oh, so so colorful, so beautiful. Um, another reason we're streaming today, um, not just for this game, is uh, our Dice Award submissions are due today, and they close today. So what does that mean for you? I'm sure most of you, um, you're, you're enthusiasts, you enjoy uh, gaming and games. Um, I would love to know your favorite games of the year. And if you have any favorite games, um, make sure to let those developers know on Twitter, through email, that the DICE Awards missions are due today. Um, and basically, um, those submissions will help go towards uh, the nomination process, which is going to come. The final nominees will be announced on in early January. Green Lemon Pink. That's awesome. So I'm sure all of your Call of Duty guns are Green Lemon Pink. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little bit of my sickness coming through here. Oh gosh, this game is beautiful. This game reminds me of another game, I believe it's Dust, that came out uh, on a couple platforms. That was also a very beautiful game. Um, but yeah, so if you have a favorite game, favorite game developer that came out with your favorite game this year, whether it's Fallout 4, 
uh, whether it's Metal Gear, um, whether it's Ori or Undertale or anything, let your favorite developers know on Twitter if they haven't already submitted um, to submit to the DICE Awards. Um, we would love to have as many people represented as possible. And um, I will give you the link in one second in the chat. Sorry, the music cuts out here. So that is our submissions link, pretty much. And um, yeah, so it closes today. Just feel free to email us, message us at any time um, in case you feel like you're being late or the developer feels like they're being late. Uh, just message us. We would love to hear from everybody and include as many games as possible. Um, January will be the nominations announcements and February will be the huge show. We'll have um, thousands of viewers on here and um, it'll be crazy. So. I totally agree, Heaven. Uh, I totally agree. Um, you know, one of my favorite games of the year is Undertale. And um, I just recently bought a t-shirt. I bought the soundtrack. Um, and, you know, um, hopefully, you know, through submissions and through the nomination process, you know, all your favorite games or most of your favorite games will be um, included in the, uh, in the upcoming DICE Awards. <laughs> a lot of games came out this year. Um, one being Ori, you know, Ori and the Blind Forest came out earlier this year, right? Um, there's so many games to talk about from Just Cause 3 that just came out, Fallout 4, Fallout 4, uh, Witcher 3, game, Middle Gear 5. Oh, this is so sad. I mean, there's so many games this year. Um, I think it's kind of you know, the, the final winners will be very interesting to see who um, gets the top prize. Um, in January, uh, you'll have all of our membership base, uh, about 30,000 plus, um, voting on the game of the year and all, a lot of other categories. So it's going to be very exciting. I don't know um, what your favorite games of the year were so far. Metal Gear, Heaven, I don't know if that's one of yours. Excuse me, guys. And so if you're just joining us for whatever reason, uh, my name is Russell Up, as always. I'm the community manager at the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. This is more of an impromptu live stream, um, mostly to kind of just promote that the DICE Awards submissions are closing today. So if you have a favorite game of the year, whether it's Fallout, an indie game like Ori, um, please let those developers know to submit their games for the awards. This is really sad. Um, and uh, you know, submissions close today. The link is included in the chat. I'll include it again throughout the, um, the live stream. And uh, yeah, we're just playing through very, this very beautiful game that I know a couple of uh, my friends can cl um, love as one of their favorite games of the year. <laughs> very nice, Heaven. And what do you mean by that? What do you mean what you wanted it to be versus what it actually is? Um, I know that Metal Gear is 5 is a very different Metal Gear game than the other games, for instance. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I personally love Metal Gear quite a lot. Um, I, I really love the gameplay, even though I'm not a big fan of the story per se. The gameplay of that game was quite fascinating to me. And very different than the other Metal Gear games. Other than maybe Peace Walker. Oh, this is sad. Um, what else was there? You know, I mean, there were so many games that we played this year on the live stream that um, could be Game of the Year contenders or could be contenders in so many categories. Um, we played Her Story on the live stream. We talked to Sam Barrow, um, the developer and director behind that game. We played Undertale. We played um, just uh, so many games and... Um, this was such a busy year, like compared to other years, I feel like that um, so much to play, so much to do. Um, I was pretty overwhelmed. I don't know about you guys, if you felt overwhelmed at all. Oh, how sad. Searching for my life. Um, but yeah, there was tons of games. 
And again, if you're watching us right now, um, you will know faster than everyone else that there will be a lot, a lot of giveaways coming up come late December, early January. Um, there's going to be a lot. And especially in February when we finally um, go through DICE 2016 and the DICE Awards, which is it's going to be fun. It's a new venue, um, a lot of uh, fun, fun to be had. And it'll, it'll be great. So um, it's going to be an exciting December, January, February. A lot happening. We're super, super busy trying to um, make it really, really cool for everyone watching and for everyone attending. So, mm, more realistic, as in um, you didn't like the gore very much, or you didn't, you didn't like um, maybe the gameplay as much, heaven. So sad. Oh, I'm crawling. This reminds me of Metal Gear. The beginning of Metal Gear. No spoilers, I promise. <laughs> How sad. Is this the end of the game? Oh, totally. Ocelot is very different in Metal Gear Solid 5. It's very weird, actually. I'm. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I love Troy Baker. You know, he he won um, an award last year. Uh, but yeah, it, it is funny to see Ocelot in a very different light than usual. Oh gosh, late title card. This is perfect right here. Late title card coming right here. And then, bam. No. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Love the music though. Yeah, I, I think there can be a very interesting discussion about Metal Gear Solid Five. Ooh, there we go. And um, you know, I, I think too serious, too mature. <laughs> he did have his, you know, he did have his revolvers. You know, he did, um, he did spin his revolvers around like no other. Oh, why am I being? There we go. Alrighty, here we go. So what have you been playing then, Heaven, other than Metal Gear? Have you been playing any, any other great games? Ooh, I'm pretty sure I can't go through here. Ah, oh, this game is gorgeous. And talking to the developers of this game, um, there's a lot of love in this game. The most interesting thing about this game is that it was made in from you know developers all around the world and um, a very interesting uh, very interesting uh, development team what a fun nut job <laughs> Skullface was a very interesting cat I mean you know he might have had a little bit of a uh, whoa hello crazy animal he was a very interesting cat to say the least I don't know if he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he did put some parasites down some people's throats, you know. <laughs> that, were, that was actually kind of freaky. But I do feel like some of the characters were either really different. Um, ooh, sorry about that. Oh, I think I need the mouse in this game. Straits is returning. I am Sun. I was lost in the Glen. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, this is my attack. I get it. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, I can, I'm just tapping the shooting button. <laughs> you played through all of this heaven there we go game saved yeah 
I can tell. It's a little, little all over the place. I see. Yeah, I heard the game isn't that long, actually. It's like only like, it took my coworker three hours to beat. You know, curious how the ending is. Curious how the, what the end game is here. Too many games, too little time. First world problems, as we always say. <laughs> oh, hello. Am I gonna die? I'm totally gonna die, aren't I? Alrighty, I died, alrighty. What are you playing now, Heaven? And anyone else watching. I don't know who else is on the live stream at the moment. Currently, um, still playing the usuals. <laughs> this year had so many long games. I mean, Witcher took me over 100 hours to finally get through. Freaking Metal Gear took me 60 hours almost to get through the whole game. And I did beat the whole game, other than the online and some of the secrets, which I didn't get through, unfortunately. I mean, this was the year of, I, I guess I would say, this is the year of open world, this is the world of very long games, lots of content, which is great. But, you know, at the same time, there were smaller games, um, kind of like, uh, what's it called, Undertale, I keep bringing up, but, you know, those games are not that long, actually, and I was quite surprised to learn that. Alright, 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 let's go, let's do it. Ooh, ability tray. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll do that, why not? Alright, cool, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. But, uh, yeah, so, oh, hello. Okay, cool. Haha, <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh, I mean, look. I finally got through the ending of Undertale, like, both the uh, neutral ending and the pacifist ending, which... If you have not played the game, I do recommend you play it through the game multiple, multiple times, like Heaven is saying. But man, that ending, the neutral ending, blew my mind, you know? It's one of those fun, fun times. Ugh, amazing, amazing. Very amazing game, you know? I, I was pleasantly surprised by how the game played and how the game, story-wise, um, you know, ended and everything. But, you know, it, it wasn't that long, you know, it wasn't a long game, but it didn't take that much time. Ooh, whoopsie. The environment's so pretty, I don't know which, <laughs> what's not an enemy or not. You know, but I, I do think gaming had a great year this year, um, from my personal perspective. I still have much more to play, I have to still play through um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, I have to play through Just Cause 3. I have to play even Fallout. I haven't spent that much time in, so I need to play much more. Um, I played a little bit of Battlefront, played a little bit of Call of Duty. Um, again, there's just so much to play, and all these games take so much time. Um, so do need to spend much more time trying to figure things out here. Can I? Alrighty. All right, there we go. Game saved. So, you know, just, there, there's so much to come. There, there's so much, you know. Um, I, you know, I played Splatoon at E3, but I really haven't played it myself very much. Oh, how was it, Heaven? I heard um, a lot of people are, you know, really praising the game quite a lot. A, a key, I guess. Um, for anyone just joining us and just watching, as um, I said before to people, um, we are. Oh, hello. Um, today is the last day to submit for the Dice Awards um, for its submissions, so please let your favorite game developers know. Um, favorite games of the year know on Twitter through email to please submit by today uh, I included the link in chat. I'll include it again in a little bit, but please 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 do submit um, We'll announce nominees in January um, after the submissions period is over so just a heads up and That's awesome heaven. I actually enjoyed uh, I enjoyed The Tomb Raider reboot quite a lot so 
I think I'll enjoy Rise quite a lot as well. Alright, 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 alright. Let's do this. There we go. Open. Open sesame. How was the story in that game, Heaven? I'm curious. I, I don't remember much of the story from... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, the reboot. Ooh, hello. The graphics are amusing. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. You found an energy shard. That's cool. Can I get rid of this? Nope. Metroidvania. <laughs> oh dear. And I do apologize um, if uh, the stream acts up a little bit. Uh, there has been a couple glitches on this computer that I'm trying to fix. Um, so hopefully that'll be fixed in a little bit. That's cool. You know, I'm definitely hopefully play uh, Tomb Raider a little bit on stream, hopefully too, um, in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Oh, and um, I promised a civilization uh, live stream, and that's happening on Thursday. So we're going to be live streaming a second time this week, which is a little rare. Um, but our interview finally with the composer of Civilization Beyond Earth is uh, happening on Thursday morning at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So uh, do, do uh, please tune in for that. We would always appreciate that. And uh, we'll be taking questions. Um, the guy's really cool. Uh, he also was a composer for many Rare games. If you're a Rare fan, um, he'll be uh, taking questions, you know, any questions pretty much. Um, I know he, I believe he composed Donkey Kong Country 2. He composed uh, Perfect Dark. I might be a little wrong there, so I apologize if that's incorrect. Yeah, Heaven, I don't disagree there. I don't disagree. Um, the new game looks very well directed. The graphics look very beautiful. Um, I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, if you're just joining us, again, my name is John, or Russell Epp. I am the uh, community manager at the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. Um, this is just an impromptu live stream. Not, not live streaming. Not, I can't speak. I'm not live streaming too long, but I'm just letting people know that um, the Dice Award submissions are due today. So if you have a favorite game, of 2015, whether it is Ori like we're playing here, or it's Fallout, an indie game like Her Story, do let those developers know, um, ooh, what's going on? Do let those developers know that today is um, the due date for that live stream. So um, please, please, please submit your game. Uh, nomination Nominees will be finally released in January. So uh, that should be pretty awesome. Alrighty. There we go, that turn to help. Well, you know, Heaven, like, I, I would complain that's another complaint from the original game, too, you know? <laughs> and that's, like, the Uncharted problem, I think, you know? It's just these characters killing everything willy nilly. And, um. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm curious to. I'm curious to see what happens, though. In the, in the game, compared to the original. Ah, uh, cool. Wall jump. Easy peasy. Oh, that's awesome. Easy. Just in case someone's wondering, uh, here is, again, the information to the Dice Award submission. That's cool. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm looking, really looking forward to playing uh, Rise in a little bit. All right, cool. <laughs> That's cool. No, you know, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the effort that goes into talking about these things. You know, in any game that tries to explain a little bit about why the world is the way it is, you know. Ooh, whoops. Ah, fudge bunny. 
Oh, like, alrighty. I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse here, so it's a little, little finicky. <laughs> Nathan Drake is a, yeah, exactly. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but you know, he is a lovable guy. Nolan North gives him a lot of character. You know, can't completely complain about him. <laughs> I mean, you know, you talk about something like Just Cause 3, the main character there. <laughs> complete, complete psychopath. Whoa, what is going on here? Hello. Can I attack? No. Um, oh, they're just a uh, little thing going around. Uh, I'm probably going to play only for about another 10 minutes or so before I call it a day here. Um, but, yeah. Um,. You know, it's December. It's already December. You know, it's crazy. On If you're following us on social media, um, we talked a little bit about, um, you know, this is the last month of gaming. This is always exciting for me because, you know, the DICE Awards are just around the corner. Um, very exciting times. David from Last of Us is Nathan Drake. Huh. That's an interesting theory. <laughs> I always thought about the theory that, what is it, um, Uncharted is the prequel <laughs> to The Last of Us. It's actually interesting in, uh, what's it called, in The Last of Us, they actually kind of explain in a way the motivation behind why Joel is such a psychopath in that game in some ways, and it's a... Uh, it makes for a very fascinating story, which I'm, you know, I, I just rewatched the team's uh, react team play that. Quite amazing. Oh, nice! I actually didn't see that one, Heaven. I need to check that out next time. Oops! Did I just come back to this one? Probably did. Oh God, this game is beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're going here. Yeah. Um, you know, as I always say, I mean, uh, I know there's not that many of you on here. Um, we'll continue to have a lot more people come on the live stream. Um, a lot of uh, cool, exciting people coming up from both game developers and uh, people related to the gaming industry. Stay tuned. Oh, of course, heaven. I don't disagree. I mean, I think in that story, everyone in that story is no one is particularly like a knight in shining armor. Oh, that ending is so beautiful too. I mean, I love games with great endings that really engross you. I think um, they they get so mem they become so memorable. And um, the last two words, you know, or um, you know. The ending of The Last of Us, in case anyone watches um, the archive of the stream, is quite brilliant if you have not played it or seen it. It's my favorite part of the game. I love that moral quagmire that um, is left in uh, everyone's mind playing that game. So, uh, I'm very, very happy about that. Can I get through this now? No? Alright. Alrighty. I'm about to wrap things up here. Um, Heaven, as always, I appreciate you watching. And everyone that came through, anyone that's just watching, um, thank you as always for supporting us. Um, we really appreciate it. A lot of great programming coming up, especially as I'm getting better. Um, and uh, as we get into the very, very fun DICE Awards, DICE 2016 period. And yeah, Heaven, I totally agree. It takes courage. It, it takes courage and it takes a bit of madness, you know? It takes a bit of love and passion, and, and and that's what I love about it. It's like you can't completely complain about the ending. Um, you, I mean, you can, you know, there's so many ways to interpret that ending, and uh, I, I think it, it makes for that's why it makes for such a memorable experience, which I love. I'm missing one. Um, but yeah. Um, again, Dice Awards missions are due today. Please let your favorite game developers know through Twitter, email. Um, to please, please, please submit. You can find all the information on our website, interactive.org. Tweet at us, email us if you have any questions. Um, Thursday morning, we're going to have a great, great interview with Grant, who is the composer of Civilization Beyond Earth and is also um, the composer of many rare games. 
uh, such as Donkey Kong Country 2, or uh, uh, Donkey Kong 64, and a lot of other games. I believe Perfect Dark is also in there. Um, so we'll, be, we'll hopefully be playing Civilization Beyond Earth on the stream while we do that. And uh, like you said, Heavens, um, yeah, it's going to be great. And um, the DICE Awards coming up February 16th, um, February 18th. The DICE Summit will be from DICE um, February 16th to the 18th. And a um, lot of interviews, a lot of giveaways, a lot of everything. Um, please stay tuned with us. Our Twitter is at official underscore AIAS. And um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming up. So please stay tuned with us. Um, we love everybody that follows us. We really, really do. And um, I really always appreciate everyone's time for watching and for engaging with us. Trust us, we read everything. So please, please, please uh, message us, talk to us. Always happy to talk to you guys. So, um, so that's about it. So um, until next time, this is Ori and the Blind Forest, a beautiful game. Uh, it's also available on Steam and Xbox One. And we'll be back on Thursday. Uh, Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, stay tuned to our social media channels to just check for conversions in terms of timing. And this archive will be on YouTube, as always, on our channel, Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. And hopefully by Thursday, my freaking cold will be gone and um, I'll be all good to go. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you on Thursday or on social media. Thank you guys as always. Take care.